Hello everyone, I'm back. Sorry it's been almost a month since I've actually uh, um, posted anything. But, uh, well, I'm back and I've watched a lot of movies since I was gone and one of them happened to be The Angry Birds 2. So we, I watched this movie on a road trip and um, with my sister and we, because we just, we just downloaded a bunch of Netflix movies just so we can have something to watch while we were on the trip. And uh, one of them happened to be this. And so basically what it's about is um, the plot goes like this. Um, in the first movie, if you watched the first movie, I don't know why you would, but if you did, um, the birds and the pigs hated each other. The pigs were the bad guys. And at the end of the day, blah, 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 the, the birds won and they kicked the bad guy's butt or whatever. And then in this movie, they still hate each other, the two islands. But then they have to work together now because apparently there's another group called the Eagles who are trying to attack the both of them. And they have to work together. And there's all these like characters and stuff. And uh, yeah, that's basically the that's basically the plot really summed up. And uh, it's very mediocre. Yep, you're gonna hear that word a lot because it's that's exactly what it is. So um, yeah, the writing. So let's just get on to all the categories. The writing is uh, very average, nothing special, nothing like that, nothing that really like, you know, speaks to you or whatever. I don't know how to phrase it, but it's just okay. Uh, and the comedy is also not that great either. Like it's basically boils down to a bunch, bunch of butt and fart jokes, which you kind of come to expect from these really bad children's movies. So it's like, yeah, so the comedy, you know, it's not good. Um, the acting also isn't special. None of the performances are going to blow you away or anything. I don't know if you really were expecting that from this film. <laughs> but yeah, it's nothing nothing special, like I said. And I know I'm kind of putting a lot of high expectations for this. But, you know, like I said before, I don't think there's really excuses with movies. Like, even if it's a kid's film, I think there's still a lot of potential that you could cover. Like, I mean... You know, Pixar, many Pixar films are great, and, like, they are kids. They appeal to kids and adults, and they're just, you know, so, like, what I'm trying to say is I don't really think there's an excuse, in my opinion. But, um, yeah. Now, the next thing I want to cover is probably what I hate most about this film, is the music. The music is absolutely terrible. Okay, maybe not all of it's terrible. Actually, there's only one track that I kind of like, and it's just, like, the one where they kind of remix the Angry Birds theme song. Because I used to play the Angry Birds mobile game, so I guess that was kind of neat, but, uh... Other than that, it was literally just a bunch of pop music. I don't know why children's films keep doing this, where they just put a bunch of pop music in there, because they think kids and adults will love that. Like, it's so bad, and it makes the movies age horribly, and I, I just despise it so much. It's just... Like, say whatever you want about the music or whatever. I mean, you could like it or hate it, but it's just, it doesn't work well. It just makes them, like, so, da it feels like a 2000s movie with all the pop music in it. It just bugs me. And I guess the only thing, I think, I think the best thing about this movie is probably the animation. Because it's just, I mean, everything looks nice. I like the bird models, the pig models. Like, when I watched the first film, I didn't know if I liked the birds having, like, arms and legs or whatever because I, what i liked about the mobile games is that they were just kind of like balls that's kind of cute you know but now they're just but um actually i kind of liked it it was pretty good although i don't know if that's saying much because technically it's like i mean it's 2020 it's kind of hard to find bad animation there out there nowadays i mean you really have to look to find something that bad but yeah i guess that's really it i mean so, like I said, just very average, very mediocre. It's not bad, but I don't know why you'd want to watch this over, like, anything else. Because there's so much better than this, you know? So, yeah, that's really it. Bye-bye. Okay, so the update part. Um, the reason why I haven't been uh, uploading a lot late, re lately is because I recently started school and I'm trying to focus a lot on that, you know, making good grades. And uh, it's kind of harder because of all the homework and stuff. It's kind of harder to um, make big uploads. But I'm going to try my best to make little quick reviews every once in a while. And if I can, I would like to work on a big project. Um, I would really want to work on... Um, I really want to work on this big review on... The, um, on um, the uh, Peanut Butter Falcon, which is this movie my dad recommended to me, and I'm not gonna tell you what I think about it. You're gonna have to wait for that. But I, I think it's a pretty, 
I think I think it's big enough to do a big review on. So, uh, so yeah, just wait for that. But I'm sorry if it's been a little while, and I'm gonna try my best to you know get uploads. But just know if I've not if I'm gone, I'm not dead. Don't worry, I'm I'm still alive. I'm still breathing. But uh, just because I'm busy. So uh, thank you everyone, and uh, hopefully I can upload uh, sooner.